The most important question to ask is what pain do you want in your life? What are you willing to struggle for? Anything worthwhile is going to require some degree of pain and struggle. So, if you're oriented toward the pain and the struggle, you're probably going to be more aligned with what you're capable of accomplishing rather than if you just orient toward the pleasures. Every day, sunrise, sun goes down. So that means there is a up, there is a down. Since we are born, we have inhaled 50% of our times, we have exhaled 50% of, of our times. Meaning always 50-50. Always the exchange between left and right, up and down, bright and dark, in and out, success and failure. Our greatest challenge is that we don't know how great we really are because we still battle with the conversations that other people have had about you. You have to begin to have a short-term memory when it comes to all the negative. Remember that your life is not defined by what others said about you, but it's about what you say about yourself. You got to begin to have a conversation that it starts internally and then works its way out to the rest of the world. I want you to realize this truth. Perspective is everything in life. And the beautiful thing about perspective is perspective is in your control. Nobody else can control your perspective. But when your perspective is your power, you know that things that happen to you, what happens for you? You know the things that are supposed to break you? Actually, things are gonna build you. You know the failures that happen in your life? Actually, the failure is just feedback to grow something better in your life. You think that everything the mind tells you, I need to follow, that means freedom. No, for us, it's the other way around. To learn and not follow what the mind tells you. This is the first step towards freedom. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. Maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming anything. Maybe it's about unbecoming all the things that's not us so we can become the people that we're really destined to become. There's no way you lose when you go after a dream. You don't. It always leads to something better. Always. The responsible thing to do is to listen to your heart. It wasn't hard to work at the shitty job because I was always thinking about the exciting job I was going to do afterwards. And every night that I just went up on stage and if it just went moderately okay, I couldn't believe it. Have you ever had that level of excitement doing any other job? That's what it's like when you're, you go after a dream job. So nothing, nothing is worse than not going after it. And so many of us we're afraid of the silence. We're afraid to be alone. We're afraid because we know the voice in our head when we're alone is one that doesn't lift us up but brings us down. And it might seem dark, and it will be cold, and you'll be lonely. But I promise, as you work through that cold and dark place, you will find who you are. You will find your voice. You'll understand who you are when there's no support around you because I hate to break it to you, that's going to happen on this path to growth and this path to success. The thing that wakes you up and tells you, I've got greatness in me, I've got a, the ability to overcome, I've got a champion inside of me, I've got something that is unique about me that the world has never seen before. But you've got to begin that conversation internally. Because until you believe it, no one else will. But the moment you make it your will, to overcome every obstacle, overcome every negative, to overcome everyone that has ever told you you would fail, you have to have those haters, you need them. So you can prove them wrong by being strong. But the strength that you begin to display is not just on the outside, 
It begins internally. Time is the currency we're playing with in every moment of our lives. It's the center point of our influence. I talk about the roulette table of my life. It's the frame I think through where we wake up in the morning with these 24 chips. If you spend eight hours sleeping, you wake up with six, 16 chips left. And how you place those chips on this roulette table that sits in front of us, just before the wheel spins every day, determines all of our outcomes in our lives. There are many things in this world that we all wish weren't true. There are many things that we want to be that just aren't. The game that you're playing is human psychology. There is no greater control. There is no greater control than control over oneself. Every day that you're working to build something, whether it's a business, whether you're trying to be the greatest parent of all time, it doesn't matter. If you fail to understand that the name of the game is changing yourself, acquiring skills, identifying the gap between who you are today and the person you want to become, and accepting that you can do anything you set your mind to without limitation. So now you, how you spend that time, what skills you begin to acquire in order to execute against that future vision you have of yourself, that is everything. But you're going to have to be willing to suffer along the way. That means people will become a magnet to what energy you put out. But you've got to begin to let that flow from your life, from your belief that I am more than a conqueror, I am more than a victim, I am more than whatever I've gone through. Hell, I am more than anyone ever imagined, including myself, because I didn't imagine I'd be this, but I began to paint a picture and be, or to frame it with my work day in and day out. Work is step by step, it's, it's how you conquer a mile. You don't get there overnight, it's not all through a sprint, sometimes it's a marathon. But even marathons might take a year, might take two years, but you're on your way as long as you don't quit. Right, believe in what you're doing. Sometimes all you gotta do is stay the course and outlast whatever the opposition and the adversity may be. Right, when it comes to whatever you consider to be success. Whatever success means to you, properly define it, but always look at it in terms of, do I love what I do? Do I know what I'm doing? If opposition and adversity happens, will I still believe in what I'm doing? Love what you're doing. Know what you're doing, but above all, believe in what you're doing, man. I want you to imagine that there's a power flowing into your consciousness. This power flows to and through us and it never stops. Now when the power flows into our consciousness, we could call it thought power if you choose, you can think anything you want. You can think anything you want. No one can cause you to think something you don't want to think. What we want to do is learn how to control the flow of this energy. We want to learn how to control the flow of thought energy and let it flow freely to and through us, improving everything with which it connects. You see, we're really in charge of our results. The results that we get in our life can be altered because on a conscious level, you have a choice. You see those two symbols, one's negative, one's positive. There is the power flowing in. You can think anything you want. You can choose to think of what you don't want or you can choose to think of what you do want. You can look at what's wrong with life or you can look at what's right with it. You do have a choice. That power, you can build it into anything you choose. There's gonna be so many hours where you will be alone you'll feel like there's no one there to support you. And it may not be because you've been abandoned, but because those people have to tend to their own lives. Learning to be self-reliant, learning to stand in front of the fire, to face the crowd head on by yourself is what will rally the troops. That's what brings the reinforcement. So often we say, I'll go if you go. I'll stay if you stay. Be the one that goes. Be the one that steps forward into the fire unafraid, knowing that it's not because you're gonna get burned, but it's because it's gonna burn off the old you. Burn off that old you and let the new you shine. You'll find that you're fireproof. You'll find that you're unstoppable. You wanna know how strong you are? Let's go test it. You say you love life, you wanna live life, I'm gonna show you life. Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. You can't, can't accept the good, oh, this is beautiful. Then we lose some of our life, 
Life is beautiful because life gave us the ability to just know them on our journey in life. We met them. We loved them. We cared about them. They cared about us. That's, that's the purpose of life, just to enjoy what we had, what we journeyed through it. Apparently, the stress and the worries and the fear, it arises somewhere. And that somewhere is individually always inside one self. But nevertheless, we try to fix this issue. We try to look for the solution. Yeah, not inside of you. You try to find it out there. Sometimes people are too close to you to see your greatness. You're too familiar. So what a lot of us do, we go to our spouse, we go to our friends, we go to all these people that are close to us, and we try to show our gifts and our talents, and they normalize your greatness. I believe this is true. I believe God will place strangers in your life to take you to higher places. So don't be surprised if your support system doesn't come from familiar faces. Don't be surprised if your support system doesn't come from blood, doesn't come from family, doesn't come from the friends you have history with. But they're too close to you, they're too familiar with you. Anything we get familiar with, we get desensitized to. So the mistake that a lot of us make is we go to what's closest to us in proximity when you need to just give it to the world. You need to just give it to the world and let the world validate your vision. I need you to begin to believe in yourself in such a way that nothing can shake it. So what if you take a loss? So what if you, you've lost something for a moment? That loss is temporary. That L that you took is a lesson. But once you get that lesson, God help those that tried to teach it to you. Because once you become you, fully engaged, fully believing, nothing will stop you.